Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Crochet and Ballet. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome. We uh, do some ballet tips with my daughter and we crochet for ballet and we crochet for other things as well. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to make this, um, this beautiful little blanket. Um, so if you would like my video, that would be a great help. If you enjoy watching tutorials and you want to see more of things like that, please do subscribe to my channel so you can know anytime we put out more tutorials and things you wanna be seeing. So um, this blanket, you can use whatever colors you have or want to do. I have um, used just white and then this one is actually all the same yarn is an ombre so I didn't change colors that many times but if you've never changed colors before that's okay this is a beginner friendly blanket I'm going to teach you how to do everything that you need to know how to do in the video and um, we also it's got this nice little shell stitch edging on it and we'll have large stripes in the blanket and um, like that see and it's kind of it's not a tiny blanket, but it is, it's not huge either. So it could be used as a baby blanket or just to throw a blanket or something over your couch or um, a lap blanket. It's a, it's a really good size and uh, it could be used for anything. And you, like I said, you can use whatever colors you want to. I used this ombre and white and striped it that way. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I used and what um, I did to make this blanket. So let's get started. Okay guys, so as we get started here, I'm gonna go over what you're gonna need for this video. You can use um, whatever size crochet hook you have will be fine. I'm gonna tell you what I used. And then if you have something different that you want to use a different color, you can use any colors of yarn that you would like to. You can change colors or you can do it all one color. Um, I used two different, I changed colors out twice, so two different yarns, one color. Although it is very colorful because the one color that I used is this ombre, and it is Mandela Ombre, and that's from a Lion Brand yarn, and um, this is one color that I used. This is what I had left over after I finished the blanket, um, and I used one complete skein of this, and then not quite half of this other one. So you're going to want to have um, at least two of these if if this is the blanket that you're gonna make. And I also used um, one giant thing. I just had this big thing of white and I used um, not a whole one of these. So you ju would just need one of these. And so um, one giant thing of white um, and two of the, of the ombres so that you have enough to complete this project. This is not fun to run out of yarn before you're done with the project. I also used a 5.5 millimeter, millimeter crochet hook. Um, you can use whatever, whatever yarn you use, just use the recommended size crochet hook and that will be just fine. Your blanket may be, if you use a smaller hook, it'll be slightly smaller than my blanket and if you use a bigger hook with bigger, thicker yarn, it'll be slightly bigger. Okay, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. I have two different kinds of yarn needles here. Um, this one I like especially for thicker yarn because you can stretch it out, put the yarn through, no problems at all and it's still very thin and you can sew the ends in well with that one. Also this one looks more like a regular needle but it's a yarn needle that has a, um, a bigger eye up here and it is it is not sharp on the end. So those are two different kinds of yarn needles you can use. So we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna show you on a slightly smaller scale of the blanket here, but I'm gonna do every row with you. So you're gonna have no problems um, making this blanket. Here we go. All right guys, so here we are. We're ready to start our project. I started my blanket with the colorful yarn. It's gonna start out with this pretty kind of burnt orange color for mine, uh, that's an ombre. You can start out with whatever color you would like. If you're gonna keep the same color for the whole project, that's totally fine. You just go ahead and get that yarn out and get ready to go. Um, if you're gonna use a couple of different colors, that is perfectly fine as well. And I'm gonna show you how to change colors out as we go. So 
First thing we're gonna wanna do is make our slip knot. So put the yarn over your finger, hold it together, point away from you and down, slide your thumb through and pull up your slip knot. That is how you make a slip knot and we are going to chain 131 chains. Now, if you need a little bit more help on how to make a slip knot and a chain, I do have a video on that that I will put a link to in the description box. And we're going to be using double crochets for the whole blanket, well, for most of the blanket. And um, so if you need, want to practice that, I also have a video on that that I can put in the description box, but I'm also gonna show you how to do it here real quickly. So um, a chain, you just yarn over and pull it through. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So you just yarn over and pull through to make those chains. Try to make them all even if you can. And what I'm gonna do is I want you to pause your video right here and we're gonna come back together when you have 131 chains. So pause your video now and we'll come back when you have all of your chains. Okay guys, so you should have your 131 chains. I just chained 31. Um, because I am going to make a smaller so you can see the whole thing here on as I'm filming and I'll show you the whole blanket at the end but right now I'm just gonna do 30 but I, you need to have 131 chains right now and what we're gonna do is um, show you how to go right back across we're gonna double crochet into the back bumps all the way down your chain so I'm gonna do some with you and then you pause the video again double crochet all the way across your whole 100 and you'll have 130 because what we do we don't go in this first back bump we're going to go into the second one okay so you yarn over go into the second back bump from the chain so not this one we go right into this one and here is going to be our first double crochet you pull up a loop yarn over pull it through two lo loops yarn over and pull it through two loops okay so yarn over again go into the next back bump pull up your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and as you can see as we go into the back bumps the v stitches are going to be kind of facing down now so that makes it a lot easier to find those back bumps where we're supposed to be going into okay so yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two I am going to do these across my 30 you are going to have 130 so um, you just keep going with these you just make double crochets all the way across in all of these back bumps and you're gonna have um, a 130 double crochets when you get to the end so you just keep going it's gonna start looking like that right I'm gonna make a couple more with you just so you know that you are on the right track and you know what you are doing you yarn over find the back bump go into it pull up a loop yarn over pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So I'm gonna make my 30, you guys make your 131, and we'll meet back here when we have all of that row done. Okay guys, here we are. I'm get, getting ready to do my last double crochet in this row. I just wanted to um, do this last one with you guys so you don't miss it. Sometimes if it's hanging down, it's almost it's, it can be easy to miss so make sure that last one looks a little funky um, but but don't forget to go into that last one and make your last double crochet for your first row so you should now have there we go something that looks like this but quite a bit longer and mine have I have 30 right here and you should have 131 double crochets across your row so that is 
the only row of regular double crochets we're going to do, we just went into the back loop. And you've got all your V-stitches there, nice and even. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work. So you yarn over and pull it through, that's a chain. And you just turn your work because we're gonna go um, work back across our row this way. So we are going to do a regular crochet into this very first stitch. We've changed our turning chain. You yarn over, you go into this very first stitch here Pull up a third loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do another crochet, but we're gonna do what's called a back loop only double crochet. So, you know, usually when you do a regular double crochet, you're going under both of those loops, okay? So a back, this is the, referred to as the front loop, and this one here is the back loop. So there's, um, they make a V-stitch, but this one is the front loop. This, this one oh, back here is the back loop. So we're going to go through the back loop only. So instead of putting our hook in right here, we're going to go right in between those two V-stitches and just go through the back loop. So you pull up the yarn, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that the whole rest of the blanket until we get to the edging, okay? Except for on the first and last stitches in each row. We're always gonna do a regular crochet on, or double crochet on those and go under both loops. But through the main body of the blanket, we are going to be doing back loops only. So your next stitch here, you find that V stitch. You go in the middle at the top and to the back, pull up your loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now, I'm gonna show you the reason why we do that is that that is what is going to make on your blanket, see the ridges and how that works up really nice and you can see, um, see the ridges and they're like forwards and back. That is what makes that. So that is why we are doing back loop only. Now, if you were like, I don't like that, I don't want ridges in my blanket. You can do all regular half double crochets and that's fine. It'll turn out a little bit different looking. They'll just all be straight rows and that's perfectly fine. But if you want to have the ridges, we need to do back loops only. So we're gonna yarn over, find your next stitch, go in the middle to the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over through the middle to the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we are gonna do this the whole way across until we get to the very last stitch. And when we get to the very last stitch, we're going to do a regular double crochet. And so you remember that. Um, I'm gonna come back and, and do that one with you. So um, let's do one more together. Um, and then I'm going to let you pause the video again and, and, and start again when you're caught back up. So you yarn over, find that V-stitch, go through the middle and to the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's the back loop only, double crochet. So let's go ahead and you can pause the video here, go through your stitches until the last one, doing the back loop only. And then we're going to get back together. I'm gonna to show you what to do at the end of the row and then we're gonna turn our work. Ah, there we go. Okay, here we are. I'm at the end of the row. Um, this last stitch is a little bit curved down so make sure we remember to get it. But in the last stitch, remember, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go. Okay, so we are at the last stitch. We're gonna go under both of these loops, not back loop only, just a regular double crochet. So we yarn over, go under both loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now we've completed our second row. So we have two rows. The first row, we're double crochets into our, uh, into our base chain and then one row of back loop only. And you can already see there's a little 
a little ridge there. So we're gonna continue and just keep on going. With our colors, we're gonna make eight more rows of back loop only double crochets. That means we will have, I've already got two done, so we're gonna have 10 rows of this color. So let's go ahead and do our turning chain. Chain up one, yarn over, and turn. Okay, so in this first one, we're gonna go into both loops, pull up a, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now the whole rest of the row is going to be back loop only. So we're going to yarn over, find that V stitch, go in the middle of it and come out the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over through the middle and out the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna do this again the whole way across until the last stitch, okay? So we're going to, you guys would, she'll always have 130 stitches across. That's not gonna change the whole blanket because we want it to be even and not get smaller or bigger. So we're gonna have 130 stitches across the whole time um, and going into the back loop only so we can make that pretty, pretty little ridge like that. So we go in the middle, out the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and pause the video here and let's finish up this row and I will meet you back at the end. About that, so we're gonna go in this last one. We're gonna make sure that we go under both loops, okay? And pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now, we're gonna chain one for our turning chain. Yarn over, and go ahead and turn your work. So there has finished our third row, and you can definitely see the ridges that it's already starting to make. So, I'm, going to do a couple of more rows with you guys and then let you all finish out your 10 and I'm going to show you how to change colors. So we have three rows here. I'm going to do two more with you guys um, and then we'll we'll talk about changing colors. So this first one, remember we go through two loops, pull it up, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we are back loop only all the way across until we get to the very last stitch. Now, the reason that we are only chaining up one as our turning chain is because that is what is gonna give you straight rows and that is what you want, especially on a blanket because if your blanket does not have straight sides, that's definitely not gonna look right. Now, each time you turn, you're gonna think, well, mine is not straight because it's turning in a little bit. That is supposed to be like that because when we come back across um, at the end, it's gonna pull that out and that's gonna make, make you have straight rows, okay? So the top one will be a little bit, look like it's turning in, but when we come back across, it'll be pulled up and that will be exactly how we want it. So we're gonna um, continue to just chain one as a turning chain when we go and we're just going to back loop only, double crochet all the way across. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this row and I will meet you guys at the end, all the way across until we get to that very last stitch. Okay, here we are again at the end of our fourth row. We're gonna yarn over, find that last V stitch and go under both loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And you can see how that pulled up the edge and we are making, making it straight through there. So that is the end of our fourth row. We are going to chain one, yarn over and turn. So we're gonna go right back across. 
we are going to go under both loops of the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we are back loops only now back loop only double crochet all the way across this row and I'm going to meet you back at the end of this row I think that we don't need to do any more together if you need to go back over you can rewind a little bit um, to see how to do the back loop only double crochet I'm pretty sure you've got the hang of it now we are on our fifth row and you're doing 130 across so I'm going to finish up this row and I will meet you back at the end of our fifth row okay guys here we are almost at the end of our fifth row and this is going to be the last row I do with you of this color you all are going to go on and do five more rows exactly like this to get your 10 to do it how I did mine you're going to do 10 rows of 130 back loop only double crochets okay so 10 rows are very easy to count one two three four and I'm on the fifth okay so we're going to get to 10 rows back and forth and then we are going to change color so I'm going to do five I've done five rows with you and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change colors okay so um, but you guys don't stop at five rows you keep going um, and you can pause the video here and go ahead and and finish up doing ten rows just remember at the end of each do a um, under both loops on the last stitch chain one turn your work under both loops for the first stitch of the next row back loop only all the way across last stitch um, go under both loops chain one and turn so it's just repeating what you've done for these five rows so go ahead and do that for five more rows and then hit play and I'm going to show you right now how to change colors so we are on the last stitch okay guys here we are you should be at the end of your 10th row and we are going to change colors again you don't have to change colors but if you are changing colors this is how we're going to do it so on your last stitch of your 10th row you're going to yarn over go under both of those stitches pull up a loop you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through two you're going to have two loops left on your hook and you're going to drop that yarn we are done with that color we're changing colors so when you still have two you're not going to finish out this double crochet you're going to keep those two loops right there for just a second and you're going to pick up your second color of yarn i'm going to use white like i did on the other blanket and what you're going to do is leave um, some tail not um, doesn't have to be super long but leave a little bit of the tail and you're just going to act like this is the loop you were gonna getting ready to pull up so you're gonna pull up that loop and you can kind of pull that orange down kind of pull that down a little bit and as you can see now you're ready to start your row and it's gonna start the row with a white loop so you're gonna yarn over and you're going to chain up one because that's your turning chain then I like to go ahead and turn my work and do the first double crochet just to kind of hold it all in place you're going to yarn over go under both of those aren't first orange loops pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two then what I like to do is lay down my work um, you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut your first color there's the tail of the white color the second color that we just joined and you're going to cut the first color okay and set that aside for later and what I like to do is tie a knot in the ends it makes me feel better that my work is not going to come out some people don't like to do knots in crochet I think that it's totally fine and you cannot tell at all or see them I just tie it and tie it again to make a knot and then we can leave those 
tails right there for now and I'm going to show you how to sew them in at the end of the project. So now we are on to our first row of our second color. So you yarn over and we're going to start our back loop only again. Back loop only, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. And we are going to just keep going the exact same way the whole way across until we get to that very last stitch. And remember, we're going to go under both um, loops, not just the back loop. So if you would like to continue across this row, again, you're going to have 130 as you go across. And that is how you change colors. And I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, guys, here we are back. We've got one more back loop only double crochet and then we are at the end of our first new color row yarn over go through both of those on the end and finish out that double crochet and as you can see that's what it looks like when you've done your first row of the second color and so you're just going to keep doing this you're going to do this new color you're going to do that for 10 rows total just like you did with your first color okay so you're going to chain one yarn over and turn your work and we're going to go back across just like we've been doing for this the first color so you're going to do five or i'm sorry four more or oh good grief i cannot count today <laughs> you are going to do nine more rows of your second color and then we'll change colors again so i'm going to do five more rows of mine um so it matches my first five rows and but you guys are going to do 10 so do 10 rows total of your second color and i'm going to meet back here and we're going to go over how to change colors again to change back to the first color to make your next stripe so you guys just remember to um both loops go under both loops and the first stitch back loop only on all the way across and then both loops under the last stitch, you're gonna chain one and turn your work and continue to do that until you have 10 rows of your second color. We'll meet back up and change colors again together. Okay guys, here we are. We're gonna change colors again. By this point, you should have 20 rows total. 10 rows of your first color, 10 rows of your second color remember i'm only doing five and a much shorter version for the video's sake so um it should the stripe should be twice as big as this and um obviously a lot longer because you're doing 10 rows 130 across so you're going to have 10 rows of your first color 10 rows of your second color and it's time to change colors again so i've got these last two back loop only stitches okay and then on our last stitch before the color change you're going to yarn over go under both loops pull up a loop yarn over pull it through two and then oh almost yarned over again you're going to keep those two loops on the hook as we change colors you're going to get your other color leave a little bit of a tail hanging off there and you're going to put loop it around your hook and you're going to pull it through those last two loops and that is going to pull up your new color so that your first loop on the next row will be the correct color and kind of pull those two down to tighten them up and you're going to yarn over and chain one because that's going to be our turning chain i always like to go ahead and yarn over and hold it as i flip it over okay now what we're going to do is go into this first loop and we're going to make our double crochet under both loops there pull up a third loop yarn over pull it through yarn over and pull it through and that is going to give us our start of our new row we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut our second color and um go ahead and tie your ends together okay so we tie those together so that everything stays where it's supposed to stay and we're going to continue to go across this row with um, our second color change 
back to the first color. We're going to back loop only in the whole rest of the way across here. So we will back loop only all the way across until we get to that very last stitch where we will go under both loops and do a regular double crochet. So you guys go ahead and pause the video here and go ahead and finish up this row. Okay guys, here we are at the end of this row again of the first row of our second color change. My um, ombre yarn is changing kind of from this orangey color to pink. I did not change colors mid-row, that's just how my yarn is going. And so we are going to do this um, last two stitches here. I've got one more back loop only stitch and one more regular double crochet stitch. And we're going to chain one, yarn over, and turn our work. So as you can see, it's working up really, really pretty. I love these colors and the back loop only creates nice ridging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going with this. We're going to do, we've got one row down. We got nine more to go of this co color change. So we're gonna do nine more rows. And remember at the end of each row to go under both loops and then um, at the beginning and end of each row and then when it's time to turn your work you're going to chain up just one turn your work and do the exact same thing we're going to do that for a total of 10 rows on this color change so when we come back you'll have a total of 30 rows done so we've got 10 rows on your first color 10 rows on your second color we're going to go 10 more on this uh, first color again. So, and when you're done with that, I'll meet you back right here. All right, here we are guys back. We are doing, um, I've got just one more back loop only, and then I am on my last stitch. You should have 10 more rows of this first color. So at the end of your 30th row total, um, cause we had 10 and then we changed colors for 10 and then we changed colors again for 10 and now it's time to change back to the second color. So we are on our last, um, our last stitch here. So we're going to yarn over, go under both of those loops. We're going to pull up our third loop, yarn over and pull it through two loops. We're going to keep these two loops on our hook as we change colors. So we're going to leave a little bit of a tail here, um, about like that. And then we're just going to loop over our crochet hook and hold it here. And we're going to pull it through those last two loops to pull it up on to the next row to start the next row. So then we're going to chain one, yarn over and I like to hold it there and we turn our work. We're gonna go ahead and do a double crochet under this first stitch there. So we're gonna go under both loops, pull up a third loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We can lay that down and we're gonna get our scissors and we are going to cut our colored yarn or whatever you used as a first color and we can go ahead and tie these together. You don't want to tie them super tight, but you want it to be snug. You don't want it to pull on the work or on the stitches too much. And go ahead and tie that right there. We're gonna leave those there. And again, we're gonna sew those in at the end when we are completely done. So for now, we're just going to leave them and we're gonna go ahead and keep working across our row here with our back loop only double crochets. I know you guys are experts at it now because you have done 30 rows of 130 back back loop only double crochets. So I know that you guys are getting really good at it. So we're just going to keep going across here with our new color here. We're going to do 10 rows total of this color and then we're going to have one more color change and I'll come back and do that color change with you guys. So just keep going across here, back loop only till you get to the end, under both, chain one, turn your work, same thing, but under both stitches for the first one, come across, 
with the back loop only, double crochet under both loops at the end, chain one and turn and just keep doing that until you get 10 rows of your second color. We'll come back and we will change colors for the last time. You guys are doing great. I know this is a big project and takes a lot of time, but it is so worth it and it's a beautiful blanket. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So let's go ahead and get this, these 10 more rows done and we'll come back for the last color change. Okay guys, here we are back for our last color change. So I've got um, one back loop only stitch here and then here we are on our last one. we're going to yarn over go under both loops pull up a third loop yarn over pull through two and we're going to keep that right there get our new color loop it over and pull it through both of those loops chain up one yarn over and turn your work we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in this first one Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we can cut this color and go ahead and tie our knot. And then we are just going to continue on with this row. You guys are doing a great job. This was our last color change. So you have now done 40 rows total. And so we got to get to 50. So 10 more rows with this last color change. Okay, guys. So we're going to just keep on keeping on going in the back loop only the rest of the way across this row till that last stitch. And then you're going to just go in under both loops for the last stitch. Chain one, turn your work and just keep on going. And I will meet you back when you have done this last 10 rows for a total of 50 rows okay you guys are doing great and are you excited because it's almost done great job keep going i'll see you in just a few minutes okay guys here we are you have finished now 50 rows that is great it is your blanket is almost done um this is finishing up your 50th row your 10th row of this last color okay i've got two back loop only stitches left and then we've got this last stitch and I'm going to show you how to finish off your work. You're going to cut your yarn, okay cut your yarn and this is how you finish off. You yarn over and you pull it through one last time and you pull it tight okay you pull that tight and we are going to sew that in later okay what we're going to do now is if you don't want a border on your blanket like i have on mine you do not have to put a border but um if you want to i'm going to show you how also that i did the border i did um my border with white so that is what i'm going to show you how to do on here what we're going to do is we're going to take our new white yarn it's not attached right now so we're going to come find our corner stitch which is this one it's just pulled over just a little bit because we got to pull it out so we're going to get under both of those with our hook okay and we're going to loop that white yarn over and pull it through okay and then we are going to chain three and I like to hold this still so on the back hold that white new yarn still for a moment while I get going we're going to chain one two three and then we are going to do two more double crochets in this same stitch so we're going to yarn over go back into that very same stitch okay pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're going to yarn over again we're going to go back into that same stitch so all three of these are in the same stitch okay we're going to do one more double crochet so we chain three and then two double crochets then what we're going to do is we're going to skip these two stitches and then in this third stitch over here 
we're going to do a slip, um, a slip stitch. So a slip stitch goes like this. You are gonna go, you skip this stitch, you skip this stitch, you're gonna go into this third stitch and you're going to pull it, pull up your loop through and you're gonna go ahead and pull that loop through that one, okay? And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna do two more double crochets into this same stitch. So we yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and yarn over again. We're gonna do a double, double crochet in that same stitch. So go back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then we are going to skip two stitches. So you skip one and two, and you go into the third stitch and you're gonna slip stitch again. So that means you go into that third stitch, pull the loop up and go ahead and pull it through your loop. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go back into that same stitch and do two more double crochets in that same stitch. So then we are going to skip two stitches, skip one and two into the third stitch. I'm gonna do a slip stitch. So this is our pattern and is what going is going to make this little shell-like border all the way around our blanket. You chain three, do two double crochets in the same stitch and then you skip two stitches and slip stitch into the third. So, we're gonna continue on. We chain three, and then in that same stitch, go back in and do two double crochets. You're gonna skip this stitch, skip this stitch, go into the third stitch and do a slip stitch. Chain three, and two double crochets into this same stitch, okay? Skip two, slip stitch into the third. Now, um, I want you to repeat this all the way across your row, and when we get to the corner, I'm gonna come back and show you what to do. Okay guys, so we are coming up on the um, corner I went ahead and went around a couple of the corners, but I saved the last corner to show you guys how to do the corner. So um, you're gonna just keep going like you've been doing. We're going to chain three and do two more double crochets in this same spot. We're gonna skip two stitches and in the third, we're gonna do a slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Do two more double crochets in the same stitch. And then we're gonna slip stitch right in. We're gonna skip these two and we're gonna slip stitch right here, right into the corner stitch, okay? So we're actually not even gonna do anything different. It's just gonna be, we don't have to do any kind of extra one or turn it because if you look, it. It works out just perfectly and it just kind of rounds the edge of your blanket. So here we are in the corner stitch. You just don't want to make it where you're skipping this stitch and doing one and going in over here. You want to go into the corner stitch. And we're gonna make a, a combination stitch in that corner stitch. So you chain three and do two more double crochet and then you kind of turn your work to the side. Now this side, um, the sides are a little bit trickier because these are, you can't necessarily see exactly where you're gonna put it in. So you're gonna kind of estimate um, to be about even with how you did across the top where you can see the stitches really clearly. So what I'm doing with mine um, and what I did on my bigger blanket is that on this first one, it kind of, um, I like to go into, so you have a row here, and I kind of count the rows 
as stitches, even though they're not, they're a little bit bigger, but I count each kind of space. So there's like a, a little space here, a little space here, and I'm gonna go into this third space here to do my slip stitch. Go ahead and chain three and two double crochets in that same kind of um, open space here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see uh, the corner is not pulling. It just kind of, it just kind of um, rounds it out there and it looks nice and even. So you don't have to do anything extra. So now we're, you know what? I don't like that big gap right there. So I think I'm gonna take that one out. I think I'm going to put it, even though it's just kind of skipping one, I'm gonna put mine right there for this one because I think that it will look better. And you can do the same thing on yours if you do one and you're like, eh, that doesn't quite look right. Um, just do it a little bit differently and you can go back. So I'm gonna put it in this little smaller space here and we'll do three of them and we'll see if that looks a little bit more right and then skip this one, this one, and we'll again go into a smaller space instead of this big, because it won't make as big of a of a gap there I like that better so we'll go in there and do a slip a slip stitch chain three do two more into that same little smaller space and yeah I like the way that that looks a whole lot better so then what we're gonna do is we'll skip this bigger space and we'll skip here we'll go into right here if you can see there's the smaller before the next bigger space there. We're gonna go into that small one, slip stitch, chain three, and go ahead and do two more double crochets in that space. So as you can see, as you're going down through here, there's not, it's a little bit more difficult to see where they're supposed to be, but um, I like the way that that looks going into that smaller space. So you'll skip here and then will end up going in right here before the next big space. So, um, might be a little bit easier to see like this. You can kind of see where the bigger spaces are. So after you do each, each uh, shell stitch, you're gonna skip a big space and go into the small space that's right before the next big space, okay? So, so our next one will go in right here then we will skip here and go in here and that I think makes it look better so you don't have big gaps in your blanket so um, I'm gonna do a couple more with you guys so we need to slip stitch right there into that small space chain three and do two more into this space and then we are going to skip the big, and then before this big one, we'll slip right there, slip stitch right to there. Chain three, double crochet, double crochet, and then we're just for now, just kind of leave these behind. Um, and we're going, and I'm gonna show you how to um, use your yarn needle to sew in those ends here in just a second. So, we're gonna skip this big chain space and right before that big chain space, go into the smaller space. Chain three. And do two more double crochets into that same space. And I'm going to let you guys finish doing that the, the whole way down the side edging of your blanket. And I will come back and meet you at the end and show you how to finish off and join it together with the other shell stitches. And we will be done with our blanket except for sewing in the ends. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna finish up my side real quick and when you are done with yours, hit play again and we will go over how to sew in your ends. Okay guys, here we are. We are almost back to where we started um, on the border. So all we're gonna do is, oh, I'm on my slip stitch, so I'm gonna slip it, slip into right there, chain three, two more double crochets in this last shell stitch 
And then all I'm gonna do is I'm this same stitch that we did our first one in, we're gonna slip stitch into the bottom of that stitch. And that is all we're gonna have to do. It's very, very simple. That loop is from our starting one. Okay, so very, very simple to do that right there. And then what we're gonna do is take our scissors, cut our yarn. We're gonna yarn over and pull it through one more time to finish off our work. Pull that tight, okay? And then if you, um, so now, guys, you're done, yay! Except for one more thing. Now what we have to do is sew in our ends. So if you'll go ahead, um, should, if you did it like how I said and push the tails to the other side, all of your ends should be on the other side. So flip it over and you can kind of see where we have our ends. So you can start wherever you want to. Um, so you just start um, whichever corner, I'm gonna start at this corner and we're gonna get our yarn needle and go ahead and put your yarn through there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew it in. And so I am gonna just join that corner so there's a good connection right there. Then go right back down through there. And um, I like to go in different directions when I am sewing, just to make sure that it's just real good and buried in there and hidden. So we do that with all of them. So once it's buried in there, we can't really see it. Then we're just gonna take our scissors and be careful, don't cut your blanket. But you just clip the end off and then you can see it's all buried in there really well you can't see it and we do that for all of the rest of the tails of our yarn so if i have a pink tail here and a white tail i do like to make sure that i sew the pink part into the into the pink side so that um so that it is just hidden a little bit better and then the white, I will sew into the white. And that will help it not even be noticeable at all. So you just come down here, do that a little bit. You can just kind of go different directions, whichever way you really want to do it. So I'm done with that one. We'll sew in this white one real quick. And go up here to the to the white side so it is good and buried in there just won't even be able to know that we had ends there at all and after we do that we don't want to pull it too tight or it can mess up your stitches so just get it back Pull right and clip those ends off and that is how you sew in your ends so you want to do that over all of your ends for all the whole blanket and when you've done that you are done and you're gonna have a beautiful blanket we should get the big size for you um, you're gonna have a beautiful blanket that looks something like this and you can use it yourself, you can sell it, you can give it to a friend for a baby shower or whatever you want to do with it. And I'm so happy that you watched this tutorial. I would really, really love to see any blankets that you all made if you use my colors or your own colors or what kind of combination you came up with. I would love to see pictures of your blanket. So if you wanted to leave a comment in the comment section of this video, that would be amazing. And if you liked my video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials. I've got more coming, so thank you so much for watching. Bye.